So you and I as business owners, we're in this for the long run, right? Whether this is your first year in business or your 30th, you know that owning a business is a marathon and not a sprint. So that being said, why do we constantly make life hard for ourselves? Far too many MSPs decide to run the marathon while carrying an anchor. It's nuts. Let's talk about why we do this and how to give ourselves a much easier life, yet still achieving the things that we want from our business. Hey, I'm Paul Green, and don't forget for help finding new clients for your MSP, we've created an easy to follow marketing system. Get that and all the content to go in it at mspmarketingedge.com. So I was listening to this book a few months back. It was written by the guy who built up the Burger King chain back in the 1950s and 60s. If you're interested, it's called The Burger King. It was okay, not the most instructive business book in the world, but I do believe you can get huge value from any book as long as you get one big idea from it. Do you agree with me on that? Anyway, my big takeaway from this book was a phrase I've never heard before, but I instantly understood what it meant. It was that business owners make life hard for themselves by running a marathon while carrying an anchor. And I completely relate to this, do you? It means that even though we know it's not a sprint race and we know we have to keep going for years and years and years, we seem to nobble ourselves in as many ways as we can. Perhaps it's by continuing to work 60 hours a week, despite being surrounded by very competent staff who are actually looking for more things to do. Or perhaps it's by not taking enough vacation, enough holiday time each year, which means that when we do take a break, we're utterly exhausted. Or perhaps it's by thinking too small. There are many ways that we hold ourselves back. And don't think that this is just an MSP thing. All business owners everywhere in all sectors do exactly the same thing. But the thing is, the clues to long-term success are there if you go looking for them. Just listen back to any of the fantastic interviews that I've done in the MSP Marketing Podcast over the last five years, and you'll hear very, very successful people talking about how they broke out of the hell phase of running a business, where they, you're trapped doing 60 hours a week, and they entered a new phase where they're working primarily on the business rather than in it. And often the massive growth of their business starts to happen at exactly that moment. And this is not really a surprise. There is a direct correlation. So let me ask you, maybe it's worth you pausing this podcast or this YouTube video to ask yourself this question. What do you do to hold yourself back? What's the anchor that you're carrying during your marathon? The first step is to identify it, label it as what it is, and then dedicate yourself to finding ways to eliminate it. Maybe it's a mindset issue. Maybe it's a workload issue. Maybe it's a resourcing issue. You can't fix these things until you know what the problem is. Then you can take proactive action to eliminate the problem. Let me finish with one more quote from that book, and I am paraphrasing here, but this is the right sentiment. The greatest gift we can give ourselves as business owners is positivity, and that comes out of taking action against our problems. I love that, don't you? Come on then, let's do it, you and me. Let's take some action. Paul Green's MSP Marketing Edge.